SecurityCameraKing.com. In this video, I will show uh, a brief demonstration of our brand new hybrid DVR and its configurations. Uh, I'm going to log into the DVR by putting his IP on Eden Explorer and proceed to log in. This is the interface of the DVR itself. I mean, it's very similar to the other DVRs, except for uh, this have an extra four digital channels, and it records at D1 from channel 1 through 16 at D1 at 30 frames per second. This is an LT unit and also a hybrid unit. It has the same hardware and actually powerful hardware that it will be able to handle up to 16 channels at D1 and four channels, uh, uh, digital channels for megapixel cameras or IP cameras. Pretty much the interface is the same. Uh, the search is pretty much the same. Here I will be able to search for footage or any particular, you know, uh, for any particular channel. If I wanted to su search for footage on uh, an IP camera, I just put the name of the uh, the number of the channel and just double click on it and pretty much is it's gonna be just showing up the this in particular is an IP camera a D1 camera but it's a network camera um, the rest is pretty much the same on the configurations you will find some other features like um, the feature that you're gonna have to use to find the cameras on the network the IP or megapixel cameras is the remote device and here this option will basically search for all of the DVRs and IP units or IP cameras or megapixel cameras and you will be able to add them to the channels 17 through 20 and uh, it's pretty much you double t double click on it you assign the uh, channel and you're done you save the configuration and, and you, you're pretty much good to go uh, the, the rest of the configurations and settings are pretty much the same the same way that you do it on a regular DVR for example if you wanted to set up your schedule on this DVR is exactly the same as you will configure in our, our economy DVR uh, the only difference is you know like this option for the remote device uh, and some other things that you might see on uh, the detect portion for example or the record portion but it's pretty much the same interface. It's very intuitive, it's very easy to use, very user friendly, and I, I know you're gonna like it. This is a very powerful unit. As I said again, it, it supports 16 channels at D1 at 30 frames per second, and four digital channels up to 1080p. So if you have uh, IP cameras, you can connect to, to, to this uh, DVR, not with a cable, you connect the cameras on your router, on your, on your switch, and then you will be able to find those devices on through, throughout the menu here, through the menu of the remote device, by just clicking IP search, and then you just double click on those devices, and then you're good to go. Um, Another thing we have, we got a few cameras connected here. We have our auto tracking. It's pretty much we'll do it automatically. We'll track any object. It will follow it. Uh, we have our a new PTZ 570. Uh, this is currently doing a pa uh, a pattern right now. We have some of uh, IP cameras. This is an IP dome D1 resolution, and this is a megapixel camera. Uh, this is a three megapixel camera box and this is our dome for uh, the megapixel family and uh, this is uh, an IP bullet this is a D1 resolution so uh, as I said before I mean everything is pretty much the same just adding these four channels and some extra features there uh, but it's a very powerful unit and I hope you like it I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing